All right, welcome back everybody for part three. So we're just gonna add on to this whole skateboard park thing. <laughs> um, so let's say I have, I'm working on my design. I'm like, all right, I wanna add some more stuff to this. I'm running out of room though, cause I made everything kind of big. So you can actually go down in the, the bottom right corner under that edit grid. And I can say, oh yeah, it says here it's, you know, 7.87 7 inches by 7.87 7 inches. So I could just click on, let's make this, let's make this 14 inches. Actually, I got to do this. Let's do preset. So let's say we want to do, we scroll all the way down to the bottom. So these are all set up for different 3D printers because typically you'll 3D print this stuff if you wanted to when you're done. So we'll do custom and I'll just say, let's do 14 by 14. We'll make it double the size. All right, so I'm gonna highlight my skater guy, move him over. I'm gonna keep these guys here. We're gonna, I'm gonna select both these guys. I'm gonna rotate them. So I'm trying to think of what else we should add to, you know, a skate competition. Let's go to the top right here. So this is the Tinker Tinker CAD dashboard. Um, if you right click on it. Instead of, if I click it, it's going to go to it. So I'll just show you real quick. So if I click it, it's going to take me back. My work is saved though, so that's good. Um, but let's say I want to have this open and I want to look through the gallery to find other stuff. So I'm going to tinker this guy. We'll go back. We'll tinker it, tinker this. Now you can have multiple tabs open at Tinkercad, which is kind of cool. So if I right click on this logo, go open a new tab it's going to open up the dashboard on a new tab. So I can go back to my gallery. I can do a search over here. So let's try to find like a concession stand. Maybe I'm not going to be able to find anything. Guys, got to keep it, uh, keep it PG, please. I know that there's like, you know, there's some like weapons and stuff in there, but just try to keep it PG. So let's let's take this lemonade stand this person uh, created. We're gonna copy and tinker this. So it's gonna open it and save a copy of it to our Tinkercad account. It's a little delayed. But what we'll be able to do is when I have it in our own Tinkercad account, we can copy the entire item that's in, that's in that file and paste it into our current ticker cat. And this, this might just not be working. So I might just have to move on and not show you this. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just go back here. We're going to try to just create a simple concession stand. So let's throw a block out here. Let us kind of resize this block. All right, let's kind of make, you know, let's raise it up maybe about that high. Looks like it's about chest high for them. Let's take another whole block. So we're going to we're going to make it so that a worker can stand back here. So we can throw this guy here. You know, we could make this um hole a little bigger, right? I'm just clicking and dragging on these white handles to kind of make it bigger. So this guy I'm moving it out like that. Let's say I had this guy sitting like right there, right? It's kind of not really where I want it to be. Uh, there's a cool tool called a line. So if I pick on these two objects by holding shift, there's a tool here that pops up called a line right next to the mirror. So this tool line, we'll click on that. So then your object comes up with these like uh, black little balls connected to lines. If I click on these, it's gonna align my object to that, that end. So if I click there, notice how it pushed the uh, clear block all the way to the other end. What I really wanna do is center this guy up. So if I click that, it's gonna center it up. You know, I could also click like maybe there if I wanna center it up on that, but I don't really wanna do that. I'm gonna go back. I wanna just take out a little bit. I want it to be centered, but I wanna take out, you know, make it like a U shape. So now I'm gonna click off in the white space. And I'm just gonna select this guy. I can use the arrow key on the keyboard to move it up and down. 
I already centered it up one, one way. So it's centered from left to right, but I want to just like move this guy in there. So now I have them overlapping. I can rotate around the object to double check things. You know, I could go to a top view to kind of check it out. Um, looks good. So let's group these guys together. So let's select both of them look, that we've done already. Click on group. And there we go. We got the start of our stand. Next things, next things up, let's throw some uh, kind of like posts. So I'm going to make this guy pretty tall and I'm going to shrink it down by holding shift and dragging. I can also manually type in a size. So let's make it 0.25. Notice how it didn't change it in both directions. That's okay. I can type it on this one too. So let's click on that. Let's make that one 0.25. So if I get this guy in position on the corner here, now I have to use this raise tool. The other way I could have done it was using that work plane tool that we played with last time. And I choose that surface. So now if I drag a cylinder out, I'm right there. So I can do it to this one. And I can make this one 0.25. I can make this one 0.25. We can kind of get these guys lined up. I don't know how tall this guy is. Two. Let's make this guy just an even two. We'll do the same with this. Make that just an even two. All right. I'm going to select both of these. Actually, I'm going to get rid of my work plane now. I'm going to click on the work plane tool and then just kind of click off into the white space. And it will go away. Maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or wait. No, it's still there. There we go. So if I choose these two, I can copy them, control C, and then hit control V. I can get pasted them. No, I don't think it did. If you don't remember the, the shortcut on the keyboard, go, you can always hit this top left up here, copy, and then paste right here. There we go. And I'll just roughly place that guy right there. So now we have to have a roof. So there's this tool over here. We can drag a roof out. So again, I ran into a situation where, sure, I can do this. I can resize it, right? And then I could drag it up and rotate it. But we don't have to do that because we have, we have this new tool we learned called the work plane tool. So I click on that top of that, that cylinder post there. And now I can throw my roof up here. There we go. And let's do kind of a cool different kind of roof. Let's not just do a generic. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do some triangles like this. So now if I hold shift, whoops. So let's say I wanna copy this guy. So if I hold shift and alt on the keyboard, I can drag a new object out. So I'll do that. And then I'm gonna hold shift and alt again, shift and alt again. Shift and all again, shift and all again. So it's a, a neat way to kind of pattern your object. So now I can highlight all those to and group those guys together. And I'll change color to one color. I can change that by clicking on color and going to multicolor. And I want to get rid of my work plane. So I'm going to click on the work plane tool and then click off into the white void. So there we go. We got my concession stand. Uh, I got a, I'm going to throw a worker in there. So let's go down to this characters tab. Feel free to play around with a lot of these other uh, menus here because there's a lot of stuff. We've only just touched the surface of this. There we go. Got our concessions guy chilling in there. Maybe he's selling ice cream because that's one of the options. So he's got ice cream here. Let's say we want to add some text to this now. So I'm under characters, so I have to go back under basic shapes or text in numbers. So here I can do letters individually, or I can just click on this text tool. So the text, when I dragged it out, it went to the bottom uh, plane, work plane, right? Well, let's, use, let's delete that. Let's use our work plane tool. So I'm going to click on work plane, and I'm going to choose this front face because this is where I want the text to be. And then I can drag this text out and look at that. It's in the right spot. So I can change this to be ice cream. If I type it right there. Uh, 
ice cream. Don't worry about how big it is right now. Let's change the font to one of the other ones. I can actually resize it too, just like anything else by clicking on those white or black handles. There we go, we'll kind of reposition that. One thing you have to make sure of is it's very easy. I could have this guy sitting just off of my object like that. Now, that becomes a problem if you want to try to 3D print this. So you got to make sure everything's connected, right? Because you could have a small gap between your objects. And uh, then if we tried to print something like this, it just would not go right because there's a, you know, nothing's holding it in place. So this is where I would probably go to like a top view using the navigation box up here. And then I would kind of like move around until I could see like, oh yeah, there is a gap. So I want to push this guy back and then let's make it a little smaller. We got to make it a different color too, so it'll stand out. <laughs> there we go. All right, so let's get rid of this work plane. Click on work plane and we'll click off into this white background. It should just get rid of it. Sometimes you got to click around and why does it not want to go? There we go. Yeah, sometimes it, I don't know, it's not wanting to go sometimes. So this guy's not connected. Uh, I want to make it so that it's merged with this. So I'm going to hold shift and select my uh, concession stand. I'm going to hit this group button. So now this is all one entity. Let's say I didn't want to move that. I could just hit the un undo button. There we go. So that would be, I guess that's, that's enough tools in Tinkercad to get started. Um, the next video, I think, will just be a challenge, and I'm going to work through an object or like a scenario. And, you know, if you guys want to follow along with me, feel free. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening, and hope you have fun in Tinkercad.